eventful day on the island of Sodor, Thomas the Tank Engine was just resting at a station. When Spencer came by, but then Thomas started to tease Spencer. P U, what is that awful smell? I don't know," said Spencer. "It must be yours, Annie Clarabel. Do you know what I think it is?" It's ditch water. Not long ago, Spencer had fallen into a ditch, but before Spencer can say anything else, Thomas left. Goodbye, freight train engine. Ah ha! That was funny. That was funny. That sure was funny. Thomas said. But Annie and Clarabel did have respect for Spencer, the fastest engine on Sodor. So Thomas parked Annie and Clarabel at a siding and went off to the mine to fetch some trucks. So when Thomas went to the mine, he noticed that. There was a truck. Now is my chance," said Thomas. He bit the truck hard, and it flew on the tracks. Thomas always wanted to go past there, but it never succeeded. But this time, he said it will. He bit the truck, but his driver and fireman got out just in time. Before, oh no! I can't stop. Help! <laughs> Fire and smoke," said Thomas. "I'm stuck," and he was. Oh dear! I am a silly engine and a naughty one too," said Emmett. I saw you. Please, sir, I won't be a silly engine again. Please get me out of here. Well, we can't use the breakdown train because the ground isn't firm enough. How about we can use Spencer instead? Thomas was thankful that he was going to get out the ditch, but he r- really didn't want to see Spencer again. Down in the mind, is he? <laughs> Spencer laughed. Hello, Thomas. <gasps> It's Spencer. We will get you out in a couple of puffs. So strong cables were attached from Spencer to Thomas. Are you ready? He. Wheel turn by wheel, wheel turn. Spen, Spencer struggled to pull Thomas back on the track. Thomas was still in the mine, but he was struggling to get out. Spencer's wheel slivered on the tracks. Every twist, every turn, it took. At last. Spencer got Thomas back on the track. I'm sorry I was being cheeky," said Thomas. "It's okay," said Spencer. "We all make mistakes. No matter if you do goops or bumps," said Sir Topham Hat. "Now you two engines go home." But sir, my smoke box is soaked. Can someone help me? I can help you, Thomas. You follow me, and I follow you. Okay," said Thomas. And everybody had a great rest of their day.